demonstrating tips on how to use Treaty Treat Dog Icing. The first thing you want to do is decide how much of the mix that you would like to use to cover your dog treats. And I actually chose to use a cup of icing just for this demonstration. If you look on the back of the bag of your icing mix, it will tell you how much water to add per cup of icing or half a cup of icing. The standard rule of thumb is to do a tablespoon of water, well actually two, for a cup. And I already added my mix into the mixing bowl. So then I'm going to use a hand mixer to mix it, but you certainly can use a, um, a spoon and just mix it by hand yourself. Or your hand mixer um, can be on low. And what I'm going to do is I'm just mixing up my mix until the water hydrates it enough to make it um, a consistency that I can do a background of my treat. Now, I know you can't see this, but it is a little bit too thick with just the two tablespoons of water. So what I'm going to do is add, you can see it dripping off, it's a little bit thick. So I'm going to add another teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon that I have in my hand, so I don't want to confuse you. I might add a little bit, maybe two teaspoons of water to the mix. I want it to be a little bit thinner, but not too thin to cover the background of a treat, and I will show you that after it's mixed. So it really doesn't take long to mix it up. You just, um, you know, if you have a hand mixer, it takes about 30 seconds. If you mix it by hand, it does take a little bit longer, but it gives you the same effect. Okay. I'm going to put this aside, and then I pre-did a mixing bag, and this is just a Wilton decorating bag, it's a disposable plastic one. I put a coupler in there, and I do have a Wilton tip on the top of it, and I have a little protector so that when I put it, the icing into the bag, it won't leak at the bottom. Another neat trick is I'm using a standard cup from my house. It's a glass to hold the bag open for me. So I'm just going to put this mix in and I'll try to do it high so that you can see the consistency of it. If you wanted to, you can add less water for detail work on the treat. And that'll just make your icing a little bit thicker so that you have more control over it. And I will show you that in just a minute. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you can add food coloring. Um, I did mix up a little bit of the all-natural food coloring. And it's part of our line. What I did was I chose a pink. And I'm going to use it to swirl in decorations after I do the background. But I pre-mixed it because it takes about 15 minutes for it just to dissolve within, it's a powder form. So it's a, you want it to dissolve it for about 15 minutes in order for it to not be all speckly when you put it on your tree. I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to put my heart in the center. And I'm going to carefully outline the edge of the heart. This um, icing is a little bit thin. The next time I probably would do it maybe with just one extra teaspoon of water. But for this demonstration, I wanted to do just a quick job for you to give you an idea about how to fill in the background of a dog treat. Okay, and any air bubbles that you may have, uh, you can tap out with either the tip of your icing bag or you could take a toothpick and do the same thing. I'm just going to cap up my icing so that I don't make a mess all over the place. And now I'm going to take some of this food coloring and I have a toothpick. I'm just going to tap a little. I want to show you what you can do while the icing is still wet. 
you basically could take it and make any design you want by dragging it in. It is wet. So I just made a couple of swirls on here so you can see how to do certain things. Then what I'm going to do is this entire cookie should just sit air, air dry it overnight or about 12 to 24 hours and it'll harden up for you. Now what I did is I took a dog, oops I just broke his tail, that's okay, Don't. he's okay, it's just a treat. Um, basically this is already hardened. So if you want, that was my dog barking, not this one. If you want a uh, flat finish where it's hard and then go back and add details, that's your best bet so the colors don't bleed together. So this one has air dried for 12 hours actually. I pre-mixed up a black icing and I'm just going to squirt a little bit on the side to get my texture and make sure it's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate the dog. In this, I use just two tablespoons of water per cup of mix because I wanted it to be a thicker consistency so that I had more control over the bag. So I could do things like a smile and just some little leg accents on the bottom. And this one I can actually hold up because it won't drip all over the place. So you can see that this is a lot thicker than the heart. Another thing you can do, this is a flip-flop. And once again, I dry this overnight so that I can touch it and it's not going to bleed. You can just get cleaner lines when you decorate this way. So I pre-mixed a, a lime green. And it's thicker, it's the two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top of the flip flop on it. And then a neat little trick you can do is add a cookie. So this will be the top of the flip flop and it's just a dog treat that is dehydrated and we put the icing on top once again i let it dry overnight so that i could touch it and just gently press it down onto the flip-flop and if you want to be creative you can always add a little dot in the middle and i'll try to hold it up so this way this will stick to the flip-flop so you can add special things such as flowers or anything you want on top of your treats to have a little bit of a 3D effect. Another thing that people do do is with the leftover icing, they'll do strips on parchment or wax paper. They'll let them dry and they'll break them up into little confettis so that when your icing is wet, like the heart was, you can always add sprinkles on it and let it dry overnight and it works wonderful as sugar-free icing. Well, I hope you enjoyed our dog decorating trip tips, and if you have any other questions, you can visit www.pastriesforpets.com and look at our Frequently Asked Questions page.